So about managing forums on online courses, I think the starting point is got to imagine that those forums are your lecture theatres and your tutorial rooms. And that's, so it's the opportunities there is for the students to network and meet and communicate. So that, that's the starting point. And you, you have to set the things up in terms of the, the philosophy or the, the culture of it, if you like, so the students understand that's what the forums are for. One way to do that is for the first, I'd say at least the first two weeks, you need to be quite punctual, prompt, like quick with your responses to make sure that people start to engage. And the skill <laughs> lies in being fairly quick at the beginning with responding and getting people involved and learning when to start easing off and leaving it to them because you've already set it up. And you can try your own methods. Uh, we've tried loads. At the start of running the forums, you need, you need a, a clear strategy in place. Mm -hmm. So make, make the first two or three or four forum activities doable by everyone. So first one's an introduction one about themselves and, and introduce yourselves, but give them a format of, so they can introduce in the same way. Um, that's, that's good. Make the second forum activity something else they can do that's linked to your course, but doesn't necessarily involve masses of, of reading because you're trying to get them used to the on online platform, first of all. So one of the things we do is um, find an interesting article in the news that relates to this course, which is of interest to you. And then we give them a framework. You know, what's the article? Where did you find it? Um, why is it of interest to you? In terms of trying to improve the quality of the posts, we figured out a really interesting strategy, is we look for a good post and we write, you know, thank you for this post, it's a really interesting post and this is why it's a really good post. So we want, it's not incumbent on, incumbent on you as the lecturer to answer every and comment on everything. In fact, don't even try to, that would be, that would, that would, that would be a bad thing to do for you. So find the things that are really detailed and make comment on that because I can assure you that the students are reading every word that you write. So the, the, the forums are not a place for um, any negative feedback at all. It's about finding the good and highlighting the good. And then with our, with our weekly newsletters or, or, or videos, we then highlight certain forum posts um, and, and thank those students for contributing in such a way. I would, I would agree. It goes back to remembering that's your online classroom. If someone gave a one-line response in the classroom, what would your reaction be? You wouldn't start giving them a sonnet on how badly they did. You know, you'd, you'd pick out on what was useful and you'd apply it to demonstrate how everyone else could do it. Uh, because there's no guarantee you'll get, as we, as we'll say, a high-quality post. So then you have to set the example to show what's expected, but you can't keep doing that because then everyone will wait for you and say, well, I'll wait to see what they post first and then I'll know what the standard is. You have to give them that freedom and trust them. Trust that the students are very engaged and they are intelligent and they, are. they know what they're yeah. doing. Sometimes they just yeah. might have slight concerns. We also have a secret weapon, which is this. Okay, and here's a secret weapon. When a student does some particularly good posts, you write to them outside of the forums. You thank them for their contribution. And you encourage them to um, comment on other posts, like, like you would comment in the normal classrooms. So three or four weeks in, you've maybe got seven or eight of these, um, these secret weapon, weapons running. So there's not just uh, one of you in the forums, there's, there's eight or nine of you trying to support the learning of the other students.